ways of making the painting seem more luminous, to seem brighter. And I have to say, he's really succeeded. This is a painting that is brilliantly luminous and incredibly complex when it comes to color. So he's taking the earlier traditions of the Impressionists and he's imposing on them the science of vision and especially the science of color that had been developed by people like Chevroy and Rude. The impressive oil on canvas painting, it measures over 200 by 300 centimeters, is also known as a Sunday afternoon on the island of La Grande Chatte, or in French as un dimanche après-midi à l'île de La Grande Chatte. Seurat started working on this painting in 1884, but finished it in 1886. After Seurat's early death in 1891, at the age of 31, the painting was owned by first his mother, next his brother. It is said that Seurat's probable cause of death was an infectious disease, like infectious angina, meningitis, pneumonia or diphtheria. Georges Pierre Seurat was born on December 2, 1859, in Paris, France. Seurat's father was withdrawn and often neglected his family. But his mother, although quiet, was affectionate and gave warmth to his childhood. Seurat grew to be a serious young man. He had a quiet, gentle voice and was well dressed. But behind his reserved demeanor was an intense and secretive artist. Seurat was classically trained and spent his time in the museums and libraries throughout Paris. He was an avid reader, preferring books over drinking. 